My name is Frank Murangwa and I'm the director of the Destination Marketing at Rwanda Convention Bureau. Uh, and the Rwanda Convention Bureau is the uh, destination marketing organization for the country that uh, attracts uh, conferences and events uh, to come to the country. And we are very delighted to be here uh, to talk to you during the uh, World Travel and Tourism uh, Summit. And we're delighted to be here too. And so just give us a bit of a flavor. How is it all going? Uh, I think it's very exciting. We're seeing really people uh, coming from across the world. Uh, this is the first time they summit is coming to the continent and that really gives us a very a good to and unique opportunity to really enhance the positioning of the country. Uh, Rwanda has chosen to become uh, a, a really a hub for conferences and events and the uh, WTTC couldn't have come at a better place than this. Uh, when we are coming out of the COVID uh, situation and this really uh, the numbers of the people we are seeing here really gives you an indication of what the country is able to, de uh, to do and they deliver at the global level. And what's been the feedback so far? Uh, people have been uh, really very surprised with the country, especially most people that have never been to, to Rwanda and the, perhaps uh, in the region. They're very excited and very surprised about the country, uh, the cleanness, the, so, uh, uh, the, the safety of the country, uh, a greenness you get to see across the city and across the country. But more important, people are very excited about the interaction they connections and the discussion that are coming out of this summit. So we really are very happy to be part of this and create the space where people are able to engage productively and be able to uh, get results that are going to help shape and grow the industry across the world. And what have been the key themes that you've been discussing so far? Uh, I think investment has come out strongly as one of the platforms that is going to uh, WTT is going to continue to, to use. Uh, we all come here to really talk about how we can improve our destinations and the investment is a key component of this summit, looking at how uh, countries, private sector, private sector can continue to work together to improve travel and the, and the tourism and so we really look forward to see uh, investment outcomes of this uh, that will continue to improve our destination but also improve the, the region as well. Uh, another key uh, topic is really sustainability. How do we ensure that we travel are uh, more conscious and more sustainable? And I think a lot of discussions around that to ensure that we re really remain uh, very uh, knowledgeable about to how we care and uh, take care of our environment, which is re has been one of our core principles as a country. Uh, as you know, we've taken a leadership in terms of um, uh, conserving our environment. Uh, we took the leadership in banning the uh, single-use plastic bags, as you know. Uh, before you enter the country, you can't bring any plastic bag. And the, a lot of venues like this are also uh, implementing sustainable uh, policies and principles. Uh, for example, the Red and Blue and the Convention Center, the venue that is hosting this uh, summit, uh, is already using, uh, they recycle all the water that it comes into this facility. So really that shows it some of the steps our partners are already implementing and putting in place to ensure that we save our and protect our environment. And how important do you think it is to have the event here in Africa? Um, it's uh, very important uh, for so many reasons, but uh, I think that the, the first reason I would like to share is that it, this creates confidence within the meeting partners across the continent. Uh, if Rwanda can deliver this, that means that the really Africa can be able to uh, host these kind of events, given the opportunity. I think so many people had doubts about the capability of the country, but the fact that we've been able to deliver it, and the deliver it at this level of excellence, gives us the confidence that we can even attract more uh, events of this caliber. And so uh, we really believe that this has been a great opportunity for the country, but also a, a huge opportunity for the continent as well. I mean, to be delivering an event at this scale, of this stature, I think is a, is a real testament. I mean, you are now, is it the, 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 a leading kind of destination now for, for, for meetings and events in, in, on the continent? Absolutely, Kigali is number two on the continent, and um, uh, it's been a journey. We're very young in the, the business events industry, but we came out to uh, strong. Uh, we were very committed as a country. We're very determined, really, to position Rwanda as the uh, preferred hub for conferences and events. We've seen it. Uh, investment coming from the government really to create the right infrastructure that we need to host this caliber of event. Uh, but more importantly, we've also seen the uh, engagement of the private sector to come and contribute to this. And so with the, this, we see uh, more opportunities. We're seeing the uh, airlines improving the routes, uh, opening up the destination. 
a number of opportunities we have ahead. We have a new airport that is going to be open in the next few years. We have more hotels development and so with that it is really going to continue to uh, expand the destination and create more opportunities and so we're very happy to host it and we continue to work together with different partners to ensure that we amplify what we're doing here but also we want to see more uh, action-oriented results coming out of these events. We're not just meeting for the sake of meeting. We want tangible results. We want more investment to come out of this. We want more policies that are going to drive how we travel, how we do our business and how we do tourism. So we're very excited about the event, absolutely. Yeah, that was going to be my last question, really. What next? Uh, I think more engagements and more partnerships. We, we've, uh, I think, uh, opened it up for the continent. Um, I think the message is that uh, uh, if Rwanda uh, has been able to deliver WTTC uh, at this level, uh, then uh, we should also open up opportunities for the rest of the African countries. And so we're really looking forward to more collaboration, more engagement at the global level, but more uh, uh, opportunities for the country. We're saying that uh, we've hosted the WTTC for the first time. We're able to even host other major global events that I had never thought about Rwanda. So Rwanda is ready, Akigad is ready, we have amazing infrastructure, we have good connectivity, you get your visa and arrival. Uh, if you are a meeting planner out there, you seek, uh, you're thinking about doing an event on the continent, consider Rwanda, we would be happy to have you and we welcome you. Thank you. Congratulations, Frank, on delivering an amazing event and we look forward to hearing all about the next chapter. Thank you so much and I really appreciate for having us and having me on this and I'm really happy to have contributed to this. Thank you.